All right. Somebody asked about um, what was it? Um, two point four example two point four on uh, handout number two. So I'm going to go over that. I'm actually going to go over some of the conditional stuff as well. So on handout number two, we've got this chart with um, I think this is New Jersey mothers. Um, their maternal age less than seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty to twenty nine, bigger than thirty, and then their race whether they're white or they're black. Um, and so they define a couple events. A is the event that the mother is white. B is the event that the mother was a teen at birth. And so the first question is, what's the probability of A? Well, if I look at the probability that the mother is white, I'm just going to, um, sorry, I'm going to add up all these probabilities, which is, and we usually use decimals. So it's going to be 0 0.02 plus 0 0.03 plus 0.41 plus 0.33. If we add that up, we get, let's see, 5, 46, 79, or 79%, although we usually answer probabilities with a decimal. And I'm just double checking that my answer looks like his answer, but I believe it does. Um, yeah, totally. The probability of B, the mother was a teen at birth, well, so we have to capture all the teens, so that's everything in this box, this box, this box, and this box. Sorry to change my video back, apologies. And so that's going to be 0 0.02 plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.03. And I do that out of order. So that's going to be 0 0.09 or 9%. The probability of A and B, or A intersect B, is the probability that the mother is white and was a teen at birth. So that's going to be these two boxes right here. So that's going to be 0 0.02 plus 0 0.053, which is 0 0.09. The probability that the mother is white or was a teen at birth, or the probability of A union B, is the probability of being white or being a teen. So that means it's going to be all of the white boxes all the boxes that are a white mother, and all the boxes that are a teenage mother. So all six of those boxes, that's going to be 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 33. Or you could just say it's 100% minus this 17%, which will be 0.83. But we could also do it, right? 0 0.02 plus 0 0.03. It's kind of squeaky. Plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.41 plus 0 0.33. And that definitely is, let's see, 74, 76, 78, 80, 83, 0.83. Just as an aside, one way you could calculate this, which is worth knowing, is with using the inclusion exclusion theorem, where you say, okay, well, the inner, the union is all of the A stuff plus all of the B stuff minus the intersection, because that got double counted. So I could say, oh, look at this. The probability of A union B is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersect B. Which makes sense. If I do A, that's going to count all of this. If I do B, it's going to count this and this. And these two are getting double counted. So then we subtract off the intersection, which is exactly these two. And that's going to be probability of A, 0.79, plus probability of B, which is 0.09 minus the probability of A intersect B, which is 0 0.05. And that's exactly 88 minus 5, which is 0.83. Same thing. Now, a couple other things we can't answer. We we'll go to the other side, but we'll have to flip back and forth. We can also ask, what's the probability that of A given B? That is, the probability that and so A is white, given that they're teenager. So the probability that mother is white given they were a teen. And again, let's look at, I'm going to look at his answers too, just to make sure I'm doing things the way he's doing them. Pretty sure I am, but it's always good to double check. Um, oh, so he actually did the opposite of that. That's fine. We'll do both. So the probability that the mother is white given that they were a teen is the probability that they were white 
and gave birth, or sorry, and were a teen, because they were, because they, they were a white woman giving birth, and they were a teenager giving birth, divided by the probability of being a teen. So, we already know what the probability of A intersect B is, it's 0 0.05. And the probability of B, the probability of the mother was a teen at birth, well, we already know that too, it's 0 0.09. 5 divided by 9 is how I would reduce this, and that's 0.55 continuous. So the probability that the mother is white, given that they were a teen, is 55% continuous, which is a lot higher, is it a little bit, a little bit a lot higher? Right, it's a lot higher than the probability of the mother being white and a teen, right, which is just 5%. So right, they're really kind of different things that we're expressing here. If you know someone's a teenager, the probability that they're white, well, five out of the total 9% are white, 4% out of the total 9% are black. So it makes sense, oh yeah, there's a really high portion of white versus black because we are talking about just these categories here. To look at the reverse conditional probability, the probability of B given A, that is the probability that the mother is a teenager given that they were white, given they were white. Well, same sort of calculation, the probability of A intersect B divided by the probability of the given information, right? So the probability that they were white, we know is 0.79. The probability that they were a teen is 0 0.05. And it kind of makes sense, right? We're looking at, now we're saying, oh, it's given that they're white. So we're looking at this whole column here, saying, okay, given that we're in here, well, 79% of the people that we surveyed are in here, what percent of those people are white? Well, out of the 79, 5% of them are white. So it's five out of 79, which I don't actually know that off the top of my head. Um, I'm gonna calculate it real quick just to give a final answer. Oh, he's got it in the notes there, whatever. It's about 0 0.063. So very, very different, right? Conditional probabilities say very different things if you switch the order of them. So just be aware of that because it is something people often get confused about. All right, I'm gonna end it there, bye.